So let's talk about storage networking in general, uh, with, uh, with a particular focus on replication and how replication is carried out across long distances. Uh, and when we say long distance, typically we mean across data centers. So I'm going to start with a picture of what uh, a SAN setup looks like, particularly when you tie the SAN into the, the IP network, because that's what you have to do in order to push replication across long distances. So let me start with uh, a simple diagram um, so that we have a baseline for what things look like today. So let me start with you know, a generic SAN diagram and I will draw this line to call out that this is where the SAN ends. Um, there are two ways for the SAN to basically interact with the IP network. Uh, way number one is via fiber channel, which is what SAN speed. Uh, fiber channel can be pushed out of the SAN and may end up on a fiber channel or IP device. Uh, essentially, this is a fiber channel switch, which happens to have a SAN extension card. Uh, you can get one from, you know, Cisco has, a, has a, the MDS line, Brocade, of course, you know, Brocade's primary business is, is, is SAN. Uh, they have a great product, uh, 7500, the DCX, Hulogic has solutions for this. Any one of those could be used to carry out SAN extension. Essentially, the SAN extension devices, they speak fiber channel on one side and fiber channel or IP on the other side and produce IP traffic. The other way to do this would be, and this is something that's happening more and more with the SAN is, 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 uh, is native IP from the SAN. Um, for example, with the new VMAX from EMC, uh, the VMAX supports multiple 10 gig ports. So you can actually have native IP being generated by the VMAX instead of using a separate SAN extension device. So you could have IP coming out straight from the SAN going out to the network. Now, these two kinds of traffic, both of these are, are subject to uh, uh, acceleration if you are worried about your replication workflows ac across data centers. And separately, I'll talk about how these two types of traffic are, are accelerated in the network.